that's looking for me out there. And you know, I'm looking for them as well. Just having this, these great group of guys is what it, what it is as well too. You know, they, you know, try to find me on the offensive end. You know, you know, I can, you know, take someone off the dribble. Like it's a quick turnaround. You guys got Georgia, a team that hadn't lost on the road this year. Mm -hmm. How do you? Change your mindset and get ready for that game, and what do they present? Um, just locking in to the game plan. Make sure these a uh, couple, you know, practices that we have, we make sure you know who guys are and things like that. So, you know, it's going to be a scrappy game, tough game because you just say, you know, they don't they don't lose on a on a road. So we definitely have to go out there and give it all we got. We saw the uh, the five freshman lineup for a good stretch tonight. <laughs> I know it, it doesn't happen a lot with you and. Trey obviously playing so well, but what did you see out of that lineup? Because it seemed like they played pretty well on both sides, and it's kind of a fun lineup for the fans. Yeah, they definitely play well, you know. Just make sure I talk to them as well once I'm on the bench, you know, make sure I get that, that brother leadership. But, you know, they play well. Like like I said, they, they competed, you know, and gave it for Alfred, you know, just, you know, that's how we really want it. You know, they definitely going to make mistakes out there in the freshman. But, you know, at the end of the day, we got to go out there and compete. When you made the decision to come back, was it pretty much cut and dry that, okay, I've made this decision, I'm going forward, or was there any kind of doubt in your mind, and is it could it have worked out any better than it's worked out for you so um, far? I've definitely had a little doubt in my mind, you know, coming back to college, but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, that's what me and the coaches, you know, came down to agreement with, so. You know, it definitely was, you know, a little drought. So, but I feel like I made the right decision coming back and trying to win a national championship. Where, where do you feel like you're better now than you were, say, at the start of the season? Better now? Um, I say defensively. You know, I definitely took a stride in that. Feeling more comfortable with myself, you know, on the offensive end. And, you know, just being more of a vocal brother and a leader to these guys, you know, a couple of freshmen. But, you know, they play very well. I'm sure you're not thinking about it right now, midway through the season, but have you seen the talk about oh he should, he's an NBA player he's showing these NBA type oh yeah things now. I heard, yeah I heard that a couple times that yeah. maybe <laughs> they weren't talking about last season and I guess what does that mean to you um, I mean, at this stage I feel like headed in the right direction you know just keep playing how I'm playing you know and don't let you know the media guys or you know the commentators you know you know in fact me just leave that alone you know let them talk but you know I feel like. You know, I just go out there and compete and have fun, to be honest. Cal said uh, in the past when you start your, I think he called it a, a little dance move out with the ball on the perimeter that he figured you were going to fire up a three. And then tonight was one instance where you drove by your guy and, yeah. and got fouled. Is that something you guys have talked about yeah, in that yeah. instance in the past? Yeah, in practice, he, he emphasized, he was like, yeah, you want to dance and shoot a three and he called out the percentages, low percentages and stuff like that. But. You know, we talked about it, and, and you know, I, he said after I did it, you know, ah, he just screamed out. <laughs> so I looked at him, he looked at me, and gave me the thumbs up. So, yeah. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Yeah, Tony, what was kind of the biggest adjustment with the perimeter defense, especially in that first half compared to the last couple games, where you guys were able to have success there? Um, working on it in practice, to be honest, uh, just emphasizing it, looking at film. You know, we're not pushing up on a guy and get physical. So, you know, we definitely made that one of the, the main keys and main goals of this game is to try to get up on our guy and try to push him off the screen. Antonio, this was win number 400 for John Calipari at Kentucky. Obviously, you know, he said that he's not in the numbers and all that, but coming to play for Kentucky for a Hall of Fame coach, what does it mean to be a part of that accolade? Yeah, it's, it's great. You know, that's why I came here to play, you know, with you know, a Hall of Fame coach like Cal. And he knows how to win. He knows what he's doing. So I felt, you know, comfortable, you know, making that transition and, you know, learning a lot from him. Antonio, he, uh, he kind of joked about that 400th win, saying that that's not something necessarily you guys would care about, that you guys would care more about the food in the locker room. But uh, to be able to actually go out and be a part of this, what, what does that mean to you to be a small chapter in the career of Cal? Man, it's great. You know, man, he's a great coach. He, he We learned a lot from him, you know, and I'm um, Congratulating him on his 400th win, 400th win, and you know we we definitely <laughs> it's a good squad, and you know we head in the right direction. Yeah. So. Sorry for asked already about the defense, but uh, yeah. it looked awesome in the first half. A little bit not as good in the second half. What's it take to kind of tie it all together to play at that type of on-ball defense for a full 40? Um, communication, talking to one another, you know, making sure like. We tell the other guy, like, you know, make sure you be physical on screens and, you know, just competing, giving it an effort. Because I feel like the last couple games we didn't. And, you know, this game, we made it, like, one of our main key goals to 
really just make sure we get over them screens. One of the key words kind of the two younger guys are throwing around was the discipline. Like for you being an older kind of more seasoned vet when it comes to this type of stuff, what's it mean for you to be a little bit more disciplined on defense? Um, it means a lot because those guys, you know, follow my footsteps and, you know, make sure, you know, they pay attention to what I do on the defensive end. So, you know, once I tell them, you know, okay, you need to do this, then they listen, you know, stuff like that. So, you know, I just make sure, you know, they understand, you know, it's it's gonna be a tough game playing the SEC and those type of guards. So you know, it's, it's you know making it work for them as well. Yeah.